Hello, welcome to Oceanic Oracle. My name is Ari and welcome to my temporary new home. <laughs> also, I just wanted to let you know that today I'm going to be doing an Illumicrate unboxing. I have two boxes, like two collections that I got on Illumicrate that I now have because I'm in the UK. <laughs> Made it, the cats are here. They've had a long trip. <laughs> we just got in yesterday, so I'm a bit jet lagged. What better way to sort of begin the day, or I guess like continue the day, than open some boxes. So I have one box, I'm not gonna show you my address, but I have one box, which is a book subscription, which I subscribed to uh, at the beginning of last month because I was on a wait list. So I'll be going through that. But I also, and this is the one that I I have opened. I also have a collection of books that Illumicrate put out. Uh, if you if you know Illumicrate, you'll probably have an idea what I'm talking about. Um, again, they're historical. They're a historical romance collection. Uh, I did open it to double check that I got everything, and yes, I have. So I'll go through both of these. I thought it would be a good way to sort of introduce you to my sort of new-ish setup. I have another life update outside of me moving to the UK. I am going to Gibraltar to uh, do do a master's program. <laughs> so I'm going to be moving to Gibraltar very quickly. So this setup is not permanent and I will be moving to <laughs> Gibraltar where I'll be uh, probably filming. I I'm going to try and get back on my once a week uh, filming schedule, but we'll see because I'm doing a year long master's. So lots of new things going on in my life. But yes, I thought we'd go through an unboxing and um, just to get, just to show you off to the new place. So as you can see, I do have a few books behind me. They're not all my books. Uh, these are just the ones that I could fit in my suitcase. Uh, I guess we're gonna get started with the first open box because might as well go through this. I do know what's in the other box as well because I, the reason I chose it was because of the book. But I guess I should try do my best to show you. These are the new Bridgerton editions that I ordered for myself. For people who might be new to my channel, I read all the Bridgertons in 2021 after watching the watching the first two episodes of the series because I wanted to read the actual material before I started. So I don't actually own um, all of them in physical copies. I only own two, which are currently being shipped to the UK. These are the actual editions. So I'm going to pop this down and I'm going to pull them out and hopefully I'll be able to show you all of them together. So each of these editions is special to Illumicrate. So the series starts off with the Duke and I. So if you have seen season one of Bridgerton, this is the story it's based on. All of these books have um, the Bridgerton house windows on the spine and they and the actual cover art sort of wraps around it. The Duke and I has been signed by Julia Quinn, which I really appreciate and I'm going to be cherishing this. Although out of the whole series, The Duke and I is my least favourite book. If you check out the reviews on Goodreads, I'm sure you'll know why I didn't give this more than three stars. I'm going to be treasuring this because obviously there's a signature in it, but this isn't my favourite, even though it's the first one to start off with. All these editions also come with sprayed edges. They are in the colour of the rainbow, which I absolutely love. And yeah, so this is The Duke and I. Uh, very exciting. I do love the cover. The next book in the series is the one that Bridgerton season two is based on. And if you haven't watched it, it I, it's so much better than the first season, in my opinion. But again, I don't like the first book as much as this book. This is The Viscount Who Loved Me. There is a, so there is Anthony on the back. This is Anthony's book. And the cover art is a B. So you can see that there. I love this one. This is one of my favorite and like just everything about it, I love. Quite a lot of people love this character. This one follows Benedict and his his book has a mask on it. If you've read the story you know the context. You have Benedict down here in the bottom window. This is this is an offer from a gentleman. I, I really enjoy all these books. I mean bar the, bar the first one. I do enjoy all the books and um, Benedict's book is lovely. This book is my favourite. Uh, purely because I love the main male lead and I can really relate to the lead female in this. 
And this is <laughs> Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. I've talked about this a lot on my channel before. Um, instead of it being wrapped around, it's the same image reversed on the other side. You have Colin up here. This is Colin's book. And this book follows Colin and Penelope. This is what season three of the Bridgerton, the Bridgerton TV show will be based on. Very, very exciting. I absolutely love the story and I cannot wait to see it portrayed on TV. It just makes me so happy. I am so excited. I love the green, like this, this is my favorite book uh, and it helps that I really love the color and I absolutely love it. My sister is here too. These are really pretty books. My favorite is the green one because I like green. I've got green <laughs> eyeshadow on. Bye! <laughs> the next book in the series is Eloise's book and Eloise's book is To Sir Philip With Love. Um, you have letters on the background. Oh, you have letters on the back and you have Eloise standing up here. I really enjoy Eloise's book and I've learned something new about myself. I've learned that I need to take my time between uh, Romance Mr. Bridgerton and To Sir Philip With Love because To Sir Philip With Love is filled with beautiful story um, that I don't usually appreciate because I'm hung up on Colin and Penelope. But yes, it is. this book is stunning. I love the blue. I still like the green more, but the blue is absolutely beautiful. Uh, <laughs> the next book in the series is Francesca's book and this is When He Was Wicked. You have thistles on the back um, and on the front cover. It might give you a clue who Francesca um, falls in love with. She falls in love with the Scotsman. Uh, you have Francesca down here on the back on the spine and uh, the purple is lovely, although it's a bit darker in real life um, than what you can see on camera. It's a beautiful book. So this one is Hyacinth's book. You have jewels wrapping around the cover. You have Hyacinth standing in the upper window of Bridgerton House. Um, Hyacinth's book is so fun. If you like sort of like a mystery romance stuff, like trying to find jewels in people's houses, definitely check out this one. Like it's in his kiss it is so fun. And I absolutely love it. It's like, I love Hyacinth as a character. And I think as this, as the Bridgerton series, if, if, it get, if it gets to Hyacinth's series, keeps going. Hyacinth is just so funny and I absolutely love her as a character. If people like Eloise on the show, you're going to love who Hyacinth becomes later on. But yes. And also the colour is, the colour is so pretty. It's like a pale pink. And last but not least, in this book series, we have Gregory's book. And Gregory's book is On the Way to the Wedding. It is beautiful. You have two doves holding up string or rings. Yes, it, it, obviously all of these are romance books. So you have wedding motifs. You have Gregory down here. I do really like Gregory's book. This is, I, I have three favorites of my, of the series. Uh, my three favorites are Anthony, um, Anthony's book, which is The Viscount Who Loved Me, Colin's book, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, and On the Way to the Wedding. Funny that, but, uh, I, I absolutely love them. I love the way all these spines connect and I love all the colors so this is sort of like a pale I guess the book itself I hope I'm calling it like a rose gold-ish like it's rose gold sheen and I'm gonna try and show you what they all look like together so this is what they will all look like on the shelf uh, I plan on bringing these to Gibraltar because I want to have something colourful on my desk. I'm going to probably read much more romance, although I'm probably going to be reading mostly on my Kindle when I go because I do not have space to pack a ton of books and I have to be somewhat responsible. Anyway, so those were all the Bridgerton books and now on to the next box. So this, this Illumicrate box is the Afterlife box. So I have opened it. I have cut it open at the bottom. So let's go. Okay, so so this is the Afterlife box, which is for August 2022. This book features Love on the Brain, which is by Ali Hazelwood and is one of my most anticipated releases of the year. You have absolutely stunning art and a letter from the author, which I am so excited to read and when I go to Gibraltar, I'm probably gonna stick this up on the wall, honestly. It looks so beautiful and I absolutely love fan art of, of characters. So this is a letter from the author. I will read that later. This book comes with two different um, things outside of the book. So 
Um, the the Afterlight box is a adult well, is an adult romance box, and if you get the normal Luma Crate box, it has a lot more stuff in it because they're usually YA uh, YA based, whereas these are adult books. So one of the things that uh, this book comes with is the Science of Love: Experiments of the Heart, which is a lovely sort of, I guess, a box where you can th put things in, which is actually going to be quite useful for me because I do like having things that sort of go with everything. You've got a test tube on the side, you've got some uh, mechanics, botany, um, chemistry stuff, and yeah, it looks pretty good and feels pretty nice. So I do like one of those. It also comes with this The Kiss uh, Body Butter Bar, which I really like the smell of. It sort of reminds me of, it reminds, it's spiced. It reminds me of like a like cinnamon or something. I think it has vanilla in it as well. And it's a cacao butter based, which is also really lovely for me because it's at, it smells really lovely. So I'll be using this after my shower. I don't know if I'll bring that with me uh, to Gibraltar, but that's the way it goes. And now for the book. So it comes in this Illumicrate uh, little book protector, which I really appreciate. And here it is, the Illumicrate exclusive edition of Love on the Brain. So normally this book in shops and everywhere has a pink background. The Illumicrate edition has purple. There, there are pink sprayed edges on the sides. Um, you've, got, you've got a nice quote on the back. Levi is the epitome of sexy guy TM, but I don't even acknowledge the existence of this category. It's pretentious, the idea that there are men you can't help yourself from being attracted to. Men who give you the tingles. <laughs> men you can't stop thinking about. Men who pop up in your brain like flashes of light. I'm assuming this is about our leading guy, Levi, and this lovely lady on the cover is B. Uh, this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year. Um, under the dust jacket, which I've seen online already, is the is the cover basically, but just with Levi and B. I am so excited. This is one of the books that I've wanted to read for so long, and I've been wait like the fact that I've got this box now just makes me so happy. I'm probably gonna sneak this in this month, although I do have other things that I need to do. But yes, that is those are all the things I got in my Luma Crate boxes. I'm so happy that I'm here and that the move has actually felt like it actually feels real. The cats are here and they're going to be with my mum for like forever now. This is the this, like this is the only time they're going to be moving. It was quite stressful but yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did please leave a like and subscribe if you want more bookish content. I hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching this. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.